other guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're all going to enjoy the weekend. Be even better if the Reds do win tomorrow away at Millwall. But maybe we've got, just got a boost there because the news come out about 5 o'clock, just after 5 o'clock um, this afternoon, that uh, a new head coach has finally come into the football club in uh, Valerian Ishmael, if I pronounce that correctly, who joins us on a three year uh, contract. Now, this him has, he has been rumoured for the last few weeks. There's been speculation regarding a head coach. We've said on here before, you know, we wanted a manager with the, the experience in the championship um, to, to come in. Since this board's took over, it has been more looking in Europe. And, and you know, we've had Stendhal, Struber, Marais. Um, and now, now this guy who's uh, French, who's, uh, you know, got actually a good record behind him. I'm not, we can't really argue with his record, to be fair. It was last at Lalsk, so Dominic Frieser will be happy. And they actually did really well in the Europa League. Um, and uh, even had a good playing career, do you know what I mean? He played at uh, Bayern Munich, he's been at Bayern Munich, Hanover 96. Uh, Crystal Palace, uh, if any Crystal Palace fans uh, know of him. Um, there's a few fans, again, a few fans a bit mixed with this appointment. I think down to the fact, you know, they probably themselves wanted maybe somebody, a British-based manager, to come into the football club. I don't think ever, you know, maybe, I don't know if we'll ever see that while this, this plan is in place. I really don't. Uh, very good, as far as we know, at promoting youth. So he does fit the profile in that aspect. Uh, now, because he's got he's got a good record where he's managed and everything like that, you know, only lost 13 league games with Lask uh, out of 50, you know, won 31 of those. Um, I know it's um, the Austrian Bundesliga, but... You know, it's still it's still an half decent record, you know. But we take Austrian Bundesliga, you know, the players we have got from there, you know, your Ritz Myers, who apparently had a good game against Arsenal yesterday. I didn't watch it, but apparently he did. Um, so I think what we've got to do here, guys, is give the man, you know, give him time, give him, you know, your backing. You know, don't write him off straight away. As much as you know, it might not be the right decision for us, you know. It might be the right decision for the football club. Um, we can't. You can't judge. You can't sit and judge until you know you've seen him. Like the players, when we sign players, you've got to give them a couple of uh, quite a few games before you start to actually judge them. And uh, we'll see. He doesn't take ta charge tomorrow at Millwall. It will still be Adam Murray. He will meet the players the following day. He will be watching. So I think that is a boost going into the Millwall game, knowing that. We've got to perform, see what this guy thinks, uh, and uh, I think yeah, we've got to we've got to get behind him. We can't write we can't write him off yet. I would have liked. Listen, he probably won't my first choice. I'd never heard of the guy before this, but like I said, we've not heard of Struber, we've not heard of Stendhal, uh, and we've definitely not heard of Jose Marais either. But like I said. Let's let's be positive. Let's try and be a bit positive about it. We needed an head coach. Some fans were saying give it Murray. I've sort of said at times, you know, on this channel, I've said, yeah, maybe as go as go abroad, as go continental, just get, just let Murray have it. He knows players. I'm not sure. I haven't read too far into it. If Adam Murray will still be involved in some way, like he were when Struber came, um, but uh, no, it's. Uh, it's uh, it's it's sorted. It's sorted. An appointment's been sorted, and let's crack on. Let's let's not knock it. Let's see what he's all about. Let's see what kind of football he wants to play. Um, and yeah, let's let's hope we can put in a performance for for uh, for him, even though he's not in charge um, for tomorrow's game. But let's show him, you know, that uh, you know we we are we can play good football at times. Uh, so, having enjoyed a successful playing career, including two spells with FC Bayern Munich, 45-year-old arrives at Oatwell with a wealth uh, of European football experience. No, no stranger to working with and developing young talent, the Frenchman uh, hardened his pressing and attacking style of playing Germany with periods inside the youth system of Hanover 96 and uh, VFL Wolfsburg, with the latter proceeding to offer Ishmael his opportunity to top-flight senior management. Uh, following his stint in the German Bundesliga, the former centre-back joined up with Dominic Fries' Lask 
uh, in the 1920 season where together the pair topped to you uh, a for Europa League group containing the likes of Sporting Lisbon, PSVI Northern before overcoming uh, uh, AZ Al Alkmaar across two legs uh, to reach uh, the round of 16. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's lots of stuff when you look at it. Obviously, we know as fans that that over there in Europe is a lot different. The championship, you know, it's there's the, the so it's a lot hard, it's harder than a lot of people make it out to be. It really, really is. Uh, Dane's happy about it, of course. Uh, but uh, listen, let's get behind it. Let's get behind it. Hopefully, you know, we kick start a season tomorrow in front of him. Uh, a point. I'm still saying a point would be a good result, but let's see a performance. Let's hopefully get three points. And when he takes charge for the following game and for training, you know, we'll, we'll, we might start seeing a bit of a difference in how we play. Uh, but, uh, yeah, f fair. Uh, it's it's done. It's dusted. Let's crack on business now. Get get going. And hopefully, you know, it uh, all works out for him and the football club and for the fans because that's the most important thing. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's be... Let's get behind it as best we can. So, uh, best of luck, uh, Valerian. Ishmael, welcome to Barnsley. You've got my full support uh, and let's crack on. We're in this together. Come on, you Reds. And once again, guys, thank you for watching. Drop a like on the video if you could please and subscribe. It really, really would help. And uh, yeah, get your comments in as well on what you think of this appointment. You Reds.